Hey, what's good, YouTube family? It's your boy Brandon. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to get some chicken leg quarters done on the old trusty, dusty charcoal grill. You want to see how it's done? Stick around. All right, guys. First order of business is to get this chicken uh, fat and stuff cleaned up, and we're going to separate. I'm not going to leave them whole. I'm going to break them into legs and thighs. We've already washed the chicken off, got it cleaned up, and now we just need to go ahead and get some of this fat off of here. Uh, like I said, separate them. Now that's simple to do. What you want to do is kind of see where the joint is on your chicken. And it's cut right down the center. You'll feel just like that. Do a couple more. That way you can see what we got going on. And I'll go ahead and finish up the rest. Super simple. Get all that fat off. As much fat as you want. I don't mind leaving a little one because when you're cooking, you know, some of that fat will go ahead and just render off of there. Especially when you're using it, your regular charcoal grill. So, again, these are some pretty big quarters as well. So, once again, you just see where that joint is. Go right down. Just like that. Super, super simple. Alright guys, let me finish up the rest of these quarters. I've got about six more to do. And then when I've done, I'll bring you guys back so we can get it seasoned up. See you in just a sec. Alright guys, we're back ready to season it up. What we're going to season our chicken up with today is some black pepper, some regular coarse sea salt, and some roasted garlic. Uh, seasoning from Weber. This stuff is real good. It has a strong dried garlic uh, content to it. It doesn't have a whole lot of salt, but you can go pretty heavy when it gives your chicken a really nice uh, savory taste to it. Then we're just going to put a little bit of zesty Italian uh, dressing in it as well. Just enough to, like a little binder for the chicken. Not a whole lot of flavor, but it does have some peppers and stuff that makes it look pretty when you're cooking it. We all know you eat with your eyes first so now we're just gonna go heavy with this uh garlic roasted garlic seasoning roasted garlic and herb rather let's mix it on up i really like this stainless steel bowl i got i wound up getting it for free actually from a buddy of mine and this thing has come in super handy you don't know how much meat it can hold until you start stacking meat in it or whatever you're trying to use it for. I love this thing. Salt. Well, you want to season it pretty liberally. Not overdo it, but pretty liberally. You know, these thick chicken thighs and stuff, they can take a lot of seasoning and you don't want them bland on the inside. And these are some pretty good looking, uh, pretty good size quarters. And then, uh -oh, wash that off. Black pepper. Put that in the sink, make sure I bleach that off. Rub it through, make sure all the pieces get coated real good with the seasoning. We're actually going to let this sit up for about 30 minutes or so while we go and get our grill together and get it lit up. Alright, that's it guys. We'll see you out there at the grill in just a few minutes. Check in a minute. All right, guys, we're back here at the grill. Got it all set up. Now, what I've got is kind of a modified indirect cooking. I've got charcoal on this side, heavy. And then it lightens up as it goes down here. I like to still keep a couple coals over here just to keep uh, the chicken cooking real good. Um, we're going to start off putting some of the bigger pieces on the coal 
I'm not going to have them on there long just to get them a little crisp on, uh, crisp on it. Then I'm going to shift them over to the uh, indirect side and roll for the rest of the cook. So, they were start with some of these big pieces. I've also got one little hunk of cherry wood on there just to get a little smoke in there as well. Inside up, when we put them on. You can hear that sizzle. It's good and hot, but that's okay. Because like I said, we're going to be shifting it over to the indirect side real soon. Guys, let me go ahead and finish putting the rest of this chicken on and I'll catch you out here in a little bit. Okay guys, we're back. We've been in roughly about 15 minutes or so. And we've done what we wanted to accomplish. Just get a little char and color. Not even char, but color on the bottom of this chicken. Then we're going to move it to the indirect side. You can see, that's what we wanted. So now we're going to move and let it cook over here for a while. And then we'll flip flip it shortly. But I just want you guys to see what we were wanting to do there. Get a little color before we move it. See? This looks good. Alright guys, we'll check back in with you in a little bit. Alright family, we're back out here. Check on this chicken. And it's looking amazing. See, that's what happens. You can do that indirect cooking. We still get that good color and we keep that hot charcoal over here so if we need to go back and crisp up the skin a little bit that's what we'll do but look at that it's been roughly 45 minutes to 50 minutes since we put the chicken on we're not worried about temperature and all that kind of stuff and as far as the uh on the pit we just barbecuing just like we did when we were younger when we saw our father our grandparents barbecuing they went out here with probes and all kind of stuff. They just lit up the barbecue and, and cooked. And that's what we're doing today. Just backyard barbecuing. Just like we used to. It was good then, it's gonna be good now. Just moving it, flipping it a little bit. And yep, doing good, looking good, guys. Just want you guys to get a good look at what we got going on. Had a lone uh, quarter up here, it's just about ready. I've had it almost directly over the fire, but I had it on this rack. So. But anyhow, that's that. I'll check back with y'all in a little bit. Alright guys, we're back. Time to pull this chicken off. I just want you to see I moved it to the upper rack, back over the coals. That way we can just crisp up that skin a little bit. Let you see how it's looking. Look at that beautiful look how juicy it is that's what you want when you make that chicken that backyard barbecue man I think we've achieved what we wanted to achieve sometimes it's good to go back to the basics and take the technology out in this barbecue look at that perfect all right y'all Pull it on off, take it in the house, and let it rest up a little bit. When we get, make them plates for dinner, I'll let you guys uh, see what it tastes like. Appreciate you. All right, guys, we're back. Here's a piece of that beautiful chicken we just got done making. Go ahead and give it a bite. Man, this chicken, <laughs> just like when you were a kid. Delicious. Season right. You got a little bit of smoke flavor because we did put, the, uh, put that little piece of cherry in there. I'm telling you, man, sometimes it's good to put the technology down, go back to basics, and just do some regular old backyard barbecue. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Love you. God bless you. Until the next time.